Salutations and welcome to the farm and welcome to my craft room in my 1902 farmhouse. My name is Alicia with Country Mama Musings and we are going to be working today on week 31, the check stitch for our heirloom Afghan crochet along. This will be worked in color C, so grab color C, whatever you've determined that to be for your Afghan and your size H crochet hook and let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> get to the end of my <laughs> pull out here and we're going to start with a slip knot making sure you leave yourself a nice long tail to sew in later so your work doesn't accidentally come undone. Go ahead and get your work onto your hook and let's start with our beginning chain. For this block we're going to chain 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, 24, 25, and 26. So there's our chain of 26. Let's move on to row one. We're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and in each chain across. Remembering not to count the loop that's on your hook. Here's one, two, three. This is our fourth chain right here. We're gonna double crochet right there into that chain. go. Now you notice the ones that we skipped that creates almost a double crochet. It's kind of a faux double crochet right here at the end. We're not counting that yet but here we've got this here. We're gonna go crochet across and I'll meet you at the end. Make sure you crochet in each one double crochets. And now we're down here to the end of row one. We've got one chain left. Let's go ahead and place a double crochet in there. There we go. And according to our pattern, we're to have 24 double crochets now. Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And these chains that we skipped at the beginning, those count as our double crochet 24. So make sure you include that when you're counting your stitches. These ones we skipped takes the place of a double crochet. All right, let's move on to row two. We're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to single crochet in our first double crochet, which is right here. We're going to place a single crochet, making sure that when we go through the stitch, we get both the front loop and the back loop. Pulling our yarn through and pulling through both loops there. That completes our single crochet in our first double crochet. We're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the space before the next double crochet. So we're going to skip this double crochet right here and we're going to single crochet in this space before this next double crochet. So right here, we're going to place a single crochet right there. Not working in the stitch, but working in the space. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip the next two double crochets. So we're skipping this one and skipping this one. And we're gonna place a single crochet in the space before the next one. So here's our next one right here in this space. We're gonna place our hook in that space right there and complete a single crochet. There we go, right, just like that. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to continue that all the way down. We're going to skip one, skip two. So skip this first double crochet, skip the next double crochet. Here's our next double crochet, but in that space right before it, we're going to place our hook, pull our yarn through, and complete a single crochet. Chain two. One, two. Skip one, skip two. We're going to go into the space before the third one right there and pull our yarn through and complete a single crochet. Chain two, one, two. We're going to skip one, skip two, going into the space before the third, grabbing our yarn and pulling it through and completing a single crochet. 
chain two. One, two. Skip one, skip two, going into the space before the third, and completing a single crochet. Chain two. Skip one, skip two, going into the space before the third, completing a single crochet, chain two. And I'm just going to complete that down here to the end of the row and I'll meet up with you right here. We're here to the end and I have four double crochet left because remember these chains that we skipped over, this makes a double crochet. Skipping one, skipping two, and I'm going to go right here in between the space here and complete a single crochet. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to go right here to this chain up three that counted as our double crochet and I'm going to single crochet into the top of that right here, single crochet. Now according to our pattern we should have 12 chain two spaces. Let's count those. Here's our beginning where we chained one and turn. We're right here. We should have 12. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We are right on track for where we need to be. Let's continue on. For row three, we're going to chain three and turn. One, two, and three, and turning our work. We're going to double crochet in the first chain two space. So here's our chain two space. I'm going to place a double crochet right in there. And then we're going to double crochet twice. We're going to do two double crochet in each chain two space across. There's no chains in between. We're just going to double crochet two across. So here we go. Here's two double crochet in this chain two space. Here's our next chain two space right here. We're going to place two double crochet in there, one and two. Here's our next chain two space, two double crochet in there. And I'm going to continue that until we get to the end and I'll meet up with you right before I get to the end to see how we finish off this row. So we're here to the end of row three and we've got our last chain two space right here. We're going to place one double crochet in that last chain two space right there. And then we're going to complete another double crochet right here in this beginning single crochet right here to kind of finish off that row. So as we look at our row in the beginning we chained three and did one double crochet. At the end we did one double crochet. And then we did a double crochet here in our single crochet. That evens that out. Okay? And once again, we should have 24 stitches across. Now for the rest of our block, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat rows 2 and rows 3 until our block is approximately 7 inches square. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat row 2 and 3 just one more time so we get the knack of it. We're here at the end of row 3. We're going to do row 2 again. So we're going to chain 1 and we're going to turn our work. We're going to single crochet in the first double crochet right there. There's our single crochet. We're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to skip the next double crochet right here. And we're going to place a single crochet right here in the space before we get to the next double crochet. There's our single crochet. We're going to chain two. One, two. Skip one, skip two and into the space before the third, completing a single crochet. One, two, skip one, two, and before the third we're going to go into that space and complete a single crochet. Chain two, skip one, skip two, and right here before the third into that space, complete a single crochet. Chain two, skip two, for the third, we're going to go into that space and complete a single crochet. Chain two, skip two, and into that space before the third, we're going to complete a single crochet. Chain two. I'm going to be adding music to this video, and I don't know if you could hear it or not, but my little puppy is at the bottom of my feet under where we're recording today, and she's snoring. Skip two, 
and go into the space before the third and complete a single crochet. One, two, single crochet. One, two, single crochet. One, two, single crochet. One, two, single crochet. We're going to chain two one more time. We're going to single crochet into the top of this chain three that we did before we turned for our last row there. There's our, there's our single crochet. Okay, we're going to move on again one more time for row three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three, and we're going to turn our work. And we're going to double crochet in the first chain two space. Right there. All right, now just like before, we're just going to place two double crochet in each chain two space across, one, two. No chains in between, one and two. No chains in between, one and two. We're working in those chain two spaces. We're not working in any stitches. We're just placing our stitches in the chain two spaces from the prior row. So right there, we're going to place two, one, and two. And we're going to work those two double crochet till we get to the last chain two space. Don't place two of them in here. Remember, this is a little different when we get to the end. Let's get there first though. So here we're going to have two double crochet in this chain space. Two double crochet in this chain space. Two double crochet in this chain space. This block is going to work up nice and quick. I don't know what the sense is in having beautiful music playing when your dog is snoring in the background. So here we are to this last chain two space. We're going to double crochet just one into that chain two space. And right here where this single crochet is, we're going to place a double crochet there, completing that row one more time. So here we are. We've got our little check stitch started. We're going to complete several more rows until we're about seven inches square, and I'll meet up with you there. Okay, I'm coming to the end of what I'm hoping will be the last row of our row three here. Getting here to our last chain two space and completing a double crochet and then a double crochet in our single crochet from the prior round. Not round, but row, you know what I mean. And there we go. Here's our square. Now keep in mind that here at the bottom of your, of your block, of your square, you don't have any chain two spaces. This starts off with this row of double crochet. So when you get to the top of your row, you wanna make sure that you finish off with the row of the double crochet. Don't finish off, you know, don't make your last row these chain two spaces. Make sure that your last row is double crochets. So let's take this square and we're going to match it up here with square number 19 just to see how we are as far as our length. Placing it right here at the bottom. And of course as I block it they'll all come together nicely. And then right up here to the top, look at that. Right where we want it to be. So let's move number 19 out of the way there. Now, don't finish off. When you get your square to the size where you need it, don't finish off because you're going to use this same color to complete round one of your edging, and I'll put the link up above for the edging video, and then you'll finish it off with whatever color you choose for your joining. So you'll have two rounds of edging. Round one will always be the same color that you start your blanket square in. So having said that, this one's about done. There's one more thing to do. We have to make sure that we have a tag that we can write on here what block this is, what week it is, and we'll attach it to our block and we'll put it with our others until we're ready to join everything together. So this is week number 31. Can you believe we're at 31? And this is the check stitch. And this is in color C. So I'll attach this to my work and I'll put it with my other blocks. And I will see you next week when we get together 
for block 32 called the silt stitch. Until I see you then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, have a blessed day, and thank you so much for joining me here in my craft room for our crochet along today. Bye-bye.